than to say we just lost a an hero and um, apart from being a legend Eskimono was one of those people that like not just a musician nor an entertainer but he was able to pass a message to sustain the economy we are facing today when it comes to you know resection under pressure my people under pressure and still we're fixing those you know challenges today and um, I remember when I was invited not too long some couple of months like in the last year when I was going to Atlanta Georgia the videos everywhere I called on him I was the one uh, the invited in one of this program that uh, Pastor Johnson Suleiman organized in Atlanta Georgia it was a gospel show in the church you know i said come with me i was invited and we flew down to the united states of america together and i can just imagine seeing him close to me we we're talking relaxing very healthy but today all of that is history so that is life it's all about do your best and leave the rest yes. raskimono was not too financially okay before going down and um Today is an history and um, those people that I think uh, maybe in one occasion were like, okay, bro, bring something, I made your boy stay sea road. But everybody like, okay, hey, hey, I bet later, later, until later, later, later. But now it's gone. Everybody's saying, oh, no, not Raskimono. Then maybe when they are organizing the ceremony, you want to bring cows, you want to assist. You are the loudest voice when it comes to maybe public. They say, what do you know about Raskimono? You want to give a very fantastic testimony. No, that's rubbish to me. So celebrate those that you know for today instead of celebrating them after death. So I urge my audience and people around watching, it's all about him now and um, it won't take two, three months, everybody will let go. Life continue and life must go on. You know? So do what you got to do to celebrate those that you are seeing today.